pieces. I've cut these two pieces of wood here at 70 inch long. I've cut two of them. I'm building base. Uh, and what I've done is I've, I've clamped them both level, as you can see. And I'm going to drill an hole somewhere here towards the back end so I can get this, this through here that I've had a thread put on it originally a trailer wheel. Let's see how we go. frame what I've done is I've got loads of these little thin strips here and I've cut them all to the same length and then what I've done is I've put a blob of glue on top of them there and then I've screwed in with four inch screws which go down to about that far there and then basically I've gone round same width tops measured them all to the same width across and I've put screws in them as you can see and I've done the same with base and then this one here, this where it drops down at front, I sort of guess this. I just draw a pencil line there and cut it, and then I cut end off there to make it to make it flush. So and that's that's where I'm at so far with it. Yeah, and these little bits here are for windows that I'm going to put in, and I'm going to screw perspex to there and there, and then put a cover over the top. across there and to be level there and to attach it I've drilled three holes for it to screw onto it. I've only put this was just a shed window this and I've only put for now I've only screwed it with two screws because I'm going to need to set this back off at a later date. And that's my window and I've done the same with the other side.
You see these pieces of wood here? I've just paid 50 fucking quid for them from being killed. This is inside at Walls, if you can see it. I'm going to paint these white uh, just to brighten the place up, really. But there's a funny tale about this uh, tray thing here. I actually found that outside at Canal where they've been graffiti on bridge, and they left all the gear. So I walked away with it. <laughs> Freebie. Right. This is inside panel on the left hand side here. That's it. Um, basically, what I've done is I've run that roller over it with just uh, household emulsion paint, uh, dual stuff. Uh, it's supposed to be one coat, but it's had three. But, but that's what I've done for inside anyway. And what I've done is I've marked holes where beams are. Obviously, you can still see pencil lines. It's going to be another coat, but so that's so I can screw from outside onto beams. I've run sealant around all edges. I've gone over the top here uh, with filler and I've gone round all top and all front. Uh, basically, it's just so on a sand it you can't really see it join. Um, yeah, obviously, still quite a lot of sand to do. <laughs> see it right well but I've had to drop it to the floor so I can uh, seal the floor but, but this is with the door on I don't really got much room in here to show you properly but but that's that's basically that and then obviously that's inside but I found this I was hard crap me. I've done for years. Strip everything, wardrobes, drawers, everything. And I found that, so I'm gonna I've already drilled hole for it there. And I'm gonna stick that on there and there's a little door handle. So as my drill to your up, I've killed it. <laughs> shopping in Sunderland and I found this magical little thing here that's a little wall unit it's for a set of lights that I bought and the remote control and what I've done is if I can get in you see I'm, I've stuck them to the roof and it's all operated with this here so when I bring this on look at that here 
and then to turn it off and it um, it's got a timer on it and it's got it can dim I think yeah not that much light but uh, but I found out you can you can have them on individually that one's on now and I can turn it off and I can turn them off paid five quid <laughs>